Hold on, I have to capture a B reel. <laughs> Here, this is what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> Social media. Okay. I used to never be a coffee drinker and it's my first vlog and there's already two shots of me drinking coffee. <laughs> anyway, it's my first vlog and I'm really excited and still a little bit camera shy, trying to get over it, trying to articulate my words, but it's difficult. <laughs> I am going to glaze these test tiles that I made. Um, I wanna get a little pegboard thing up on the wall where I can hang these up so that I always have a little reference of my glazes that I use. Uh, so that's gonna happen today. And then behind me, I also have a few of the big daisy mugs that need their handles attached and their flowers attached. So we're gonna do that. And then Filming this video is taking some time, so I think that's probably all I'll be able to do today. Uh, plus getting all these shots and stuff. It's, it's, I have to find my way into it a bit, you know. Um, I'm not a videographer, I'm very new to this, so trying to capture my work and still get a lot done doesn't quite go together yet. Um, but I think I've, I've set a reasonable amount of things to do for myself today that are still manageable so let's just get into it i guess i finally found a perfect amount of scoops for my coffee too which makes me really happy it's perfect good So here behind me, I'm gonna be hanging up these little uh, test tiles when they're done. And there's one really important one that I need to figure out. Um, here I have a little tile that um, has underglaze on it. And then one side has been bisque fired and the other I just applied. And I'm gonna do a transparent glaze over top and see if it makes a difference. I've been trying to figure out how to work with underglaze and it hasn't always been a success. I'm about to show you what I mean. <laughs> yeah, so I painted on um, the underglaze after the bisque fire on this one and put a clear glaze over top. Now, it could just be that the glaze over top is not great um which might have caused this but yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna test out um to see if it makes a difference if if you bisque fire it first and then glaze it or and i'm also gonna glaze this little ugly bowl it's kind of just the 
a thing that I messed up on the wheel and I thought the shape was pretty cool. Uh, I left it a little bit rough. So I'm just gonna put a glaze over top and see what happens. Might be a cute little bowl for nuts or olives or something. Okay, so we're gonna do some attaching now. I'm gonna attach the handle and the flowers on um, the mugs that I have trimmed by, behind me. So I have a little baggie full of handles here like this and we're gonna attach this. Here I have my flower mold that I made. I just sculpted a bunch of flowers and put plaster over it. So now I have a nice press mold and yeah, let's get started now. Okay, um, I managed to finish about three mugs, which is okay. I mean, I'm trying to film everything that I'm doing, which adds a lot of time to the whole process. Usually I should be able to do more, but for today, I think it's good. Uh, it's time to clean up, so I'm gonna fill up a little bucket with water, wipe everything down, put everything away, and then it's time to head home.